Today is a very important day, okay? I-share ko sa inyo kung anong nangyayari dito sa Canada ngayon, okay? So, um, I don't know if you've seen this one in the news na most, uh, there are provinces ngayon sa Canada na under um, emergency situation because of the forest fire. Bakit nangyayari yan sa amin ngayon? Okay, so I live in the province of Alberta. So, ang province ng Alberta ngayon is my total of about 81. 81 forest fire. Napalibutan ang buong probinsya namin ng Suno sa Gubat. Okay? Uh, about 27 fires out of those 81 is, is uncontrolled. Ibig sabihin, hinayaan na lang na maburn yung forest dahil hindi na kaya ng mga firefighters na to control the fire. It's out of control. So, it's spreading, it's spreading, it's spreading, palawak ng palawak na based on yesterday na umabot na ng about 28,000 uh, kilometers or 28,000 I'm, I'm, I'm I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Either kilometers or I think 28,000 kilometers or, or miles. I think yung haba ng forest fires. So dito ngayon sa city, I live in the city, okay? Um, Punong-puno ng mga evacuees. We have for 11 days now, we have almost... Um, how many, uh, I think umabot ng about more than 10, 9 to 10,000, 11,000 evacuees from different uh, barangay, from different towns around Alberta. Now, could you imagine that? My windows right now, all closed. Alam niyo ba kung bakit? Ang baho, amoy na amoy ng usok when I open the windows. Kahit malayo kami sa fire ngayon, buong city namin is full of smoke. Yan ang nangyayari ngayon. Now, in 2015, I don't know if you watch my video about, uh, I mentioned in 2015, nasunog ang bahay ko. Nasunog, our place burned. Down. Totally gone. Kahit, kahit simple item, totally gone. The whole building gone. So, nasunogan na kami. So, ngayon, my trauma na ako, my phobia na ako na baka mangyayari na naman. It's been 8 years nangyayari na nasunog kami. So could you imagine sa situation when you are in the Philippines, we have a disaster, we have floods, maraming nag, mga evacuees, nang nararanasan natin yan pag may bagyo. Our enemy here is fire, forest fire dahil ang Canada punong-puno ng forest, punong-puno ng kahoy. So, kuntling kidlat, it, it creates fire. Uh, some vehicles, the mga exhaust ng mga vehicles, sa mga, mga it, um, it can also cause fire. Sometimes, man-made uh, intention talaga na may mga tarantadong tao na uh, siguro tinatapon yung cigarette butts nila so it ended up of having forest fire so nangyayari talaga ngayon and it's it's so sad because we are having heat wave ngayon dito sa Canada napakaint ngayon and it's only the month of May could you imagine I'll be posting this video around the month of end of month of May so it's gonna be so hot that ang summer namin mag end around first week of of September or last week of August. So we still have three months to go. My heat wave na kami. Hindi pa nga peak ng summer. So I was preparing dahil my experience na ako sa Suno on what should I do? Just me and my husband. Now my son is so far away. So it's just me and my husband. So uh, kaya ko sinishare sa inyo dahil mangyayari at mangyayari either we have disaster, we have typhoon, we have floods, we have fire, we have fire here. So, ready yung isang malita ko. I put whatever I can put in my big luggage. I put it in inside our truck. 
which is park underground so if there's fire we can just rush with all our luggage so what in the luggage that i put i just put whatever i need i have my soap my toothbrush my shampoo my my sweater my jacket my raincoat my towel underwear socks uh pants shoes uh um things that you think that you need for at least three days okay now i'm going to show you i still have time what's the most important thing nike carico me and my husband decided to have this radio why pag may mga disaster pa mga mga sunog walang kuryente you need to learn what's the news about like uh, you need to know kung anong news so with a radio am fm radio especially with am radio okay kahit kahit walang kuryente magagamit niyo as long as charged as long as either if it's operated by battery itong radio na to ay is, is maraming purpose may pang solar siya so i can charge it through solar okay um Pwede lagyan mo ng battery. You can crank it. Yung radio na kinakrank, pwede din. I can also charge it for 24 hours. Na 24 hours ko magagamit. Ito charge ko lang anywhere. Basta lang may, may USB ako adapter. Ito charge ko lang siya. And, um, oh, see? It is very loud. And, you know what's the good thing about this? It's also a flashlight. And, um, a flashlight and also an alarm. Did you see that red button? I don't want to press it. Pero pag pinipress ko yan, buong neighborhood ko naririnig yung alarm. Ganun kalakas. Now, bakit ko pinakita sa inyo to? Kalimitan kasi we took advantage, we just took for granted sa radio na hindi na in ngayon, hindi na in because mga cellphone. Paano pag wala kang charger? Paano pag wala kang low bat ka na? This radio, you can travel this one anywhere you go, as long as fully charged siya. As long as, kung wala mang fully charged, if there's, if there's, pag may ilaw, pag may sun, pwede mong maririshar siya because solar siya. See, my solar, pa, my solar charger siya. Pwede mong kikakrank para siya, para makaka, makakapano, makakarinig ka ng balita. So, it's always good to invest. To be honest, dalawa yung binili ko one for home and one for our truck so if we go this is inside my truck kailangang um uh ready kasi hindi natin alam so this is for my home that i live from home another thing na na lagi kong nakikita ko naman na meron sa philippines lantern you need to have rechargeable lantern dahil see i have that pag nag brown out this is i can charge it for 24 hours my lantern na ako, hindi ako mga Another thing that you can also prepare is flashlight. Kailangan nyo talagang may flashlight kayo. So, this one is fully charged. So, ready yan. Kung saan ako pupunta, bit-bit ko rin yan. Another thing hindi mawawala sa akin, itong carry um, medical ingredients. <laughs> may medical kit ko na lahat nandito na imodium para sa sakit ng ulo, alcohol, uh, anything cream na kung if you have injury lahat lahat kumplato pag susuka um what else sakit sa ulo uh nandi dito lahat itong carry ko yan okay last thing that i want to share is always prepare canned goods canned goods is life okay you need to have canned goods ilagay nilagay ko naglagay ako ng tatlong canned goods sa maleta ko and to be honest Always buy canned goods na easy to open. Kung wala kang can opener, kung wala kang kuchelyo or any can opener to open. Kasi easy to, pag gutom ka, nasa, nasa saan kayo na stranded, then you have can, can meat. Good. And you have to have crackers, cookies, mga snacks. Nilagay ko yun sa maleta ko. So, ready na ako. Nakon wood, sasabihin ng, ng, ng mayor namin na it's time to go, it's time to go, ready ako. Okay, nakaready na yung maleta ko. I set aside whatever I need. Bahala na kung nakunod. 
ma masunog mo yung mga makeup ko, masunog mo yung iba kong mga damit. It's okay as long as safe ka, as long as may bit-bit ka when you go out for emergency. Kailangan nyo talaga yun. And one thing too that's very important is water. When you have food, you have to have water. I, I pack the water because kailangan mo talagang may supply hindi mo alam pag may baha may bagyo, walang source ng water you have to have water another thing that I would really recommend if you have electrolytes drink, okay ito yung power energy ninyo let's say tumatakbo kayo gutom na gutom kayo, bumababa na yung blood sugar nyo, bumababa na yung potassium level ninyo, bumababa na yung electrolytes nyo, you need to have electrolyte drinks Kailangan nyo talaga yun dahil for emergency. Now, I think one thing that you really have to prepare is mentally and physically. Pag hindi ka makatakbo, depende kung if you have medical condition na uh, you cannot run, uh, you need to have backup plan kung sinong magagay sa iyo, sinong if you have babies, sinong magkikere sa mga gamit mo habang karga mo si baby. So you need to have backup plan na sinong tatawagan mo because with the changes of time and weather and, and, and calamities that's going on everywhere, you need to be prepared. Kaya ko sinishare sa inyo itong video, mga video na to dahil minsan we take something for granted. Nasabi, oh, hindi mangyayari sa amin yan. Mm, kabiruin mo. We are living in a big city, in a peaceful city na hindi namin alam. Could you imagine? 81 ngayon ang fire around me. I cannot even open my window dahil sa sobrang smoke outside. I have to wear mask. So, think about it and I hope you learned something from this video. Bye for now.